and grow YouTube show. What is your like plant life parallel that keeps getting reflected back to you the most these days? Oh, goodness. That keeps getting reflected back to me the most. What lesson do you feel like you're learning? I'm constantly, it's what's constantly being reinforced, especially in recent months, is the importance of pouring into myself. So I have, I frequently refer to my plants as my botanical mood ring. It, they are <laughs> the, they, yeah, like seriously, if you want to know how I'm doing, like how, how I'm doing mentally and emotionally, look at the state of my plants. Yeah. If totally. the state of my plants, like right now, like, okay. Like I'm about to do like some major plant care over the next week. I'm very excited. But like for a, a while, you would look at them and they were just looking very neglected. So if my plants look neglected, I promise you that means that I've been neglecting myself because my plant care is my time with myself. And when I say self-care through plant care, I really, really mean it because if I'm neglecting my plants, that means that I've allowed myself to get caught up in the rhythm of the rat race. And I talk about it as a New Yorker, but it happens to all of us especially when we have a lot of responsibility. You kind of get into this rhythm of you wake up, you go to work, you do the things, you come back, you're tired, you go to bed, you wake up, you do the work, you do the things. And you're constantly been driven by your to-do list, just going, just going, just going. And then it's like, that's when watering your plants becomes a chore. You're kind of just like throwing water all over the place. Like, oh, I have to water my plant. And you're just like splashing water quickly to go to the next thing and not really being mindful. So what my plants are consistently reminding me of is that importance of mindfulness and just taking pause because it is so, so easy just to get caught up in constantly going that you're not taking pause. You're not being mindful. And you're not pouring into yourself. And that's not everyone, but that is a challenge that I have. Mm-hmm. My 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 top two love languages for those of us who are familiar with the concept of love languages i'm sure you are um any of the listeners who are not familiar i suggest you get familiar oh, it's a it's great a book thing. read the book yeah yes yes um to understand yourself so for me my top love languages are quality time and acts of service right mm-hmm. so learning how to not just express that to other people but to myself so if my primary love language is quality time, how am I expressing quality time to myself? Am I carving out time just for myself to sit with my plants, to pay attention to them, to be mindful? Acts of service looks like repotting my plants, looks like trimming my plants, pruning them, not just watering. There's so many other things that go on with plant care that's not just watering mm-hmm. that can be done. These are all acts of service that I'm doing for them, but simultaneously it's something that I'm doing for myself because I'm spending that time really with myself. Self. And so that is a message that is reinforced constantly because it's the message that I need. I think that there are so many lessons we can learn from our plants and each of us is going to have a different lesson that's reflected back based on what our needs are. I'm that nurturer, caring person who needs to constantly be reminded, hey, take care of yourself too. That's why I'm always preaching self-care. It's like, I do it for everyone else, but really I do it for myself. I put things in my stories for myself. Like I I love seeing reels and posts that talk about people watching their own stories. That's what I know, I'm not crazy. I literally may not watch other people's stories, but I will watch my own stories for the full 24 hours that they're in rotation. Mm-hmm. Just to reread the different quotes and the inspirational things that had resonated with me to see them back again. Because these are the messages that I know I need to see. And that's what my plants, constantly remind me of they look at me and they're like hey we're looking a little wilty over here chances are you're looking a little wilty too have you taken time to do your meditation have you taken time to just be mindful have you just taken time to just like put your phone on dnd and ignore people like yep. sometimes you need to carve that hour out and not feel guilty about it yeah the first chapter of my book is look at a plant before you look at a screen that's what i that's what i preach man like you need to i'm Gosh, Nia. I mean, there we it's just it's like we have so many similarities. Um, that was the big thing with plants that like changed my life was that I stopped looking at my screens in the morning and I started looking at my plants in the morning and I put my phone in its case and I and I took some mindful moments because in New York City, when you live in a crazy city or when you just are a person living in 2022 with a 24 seven news cycle, it is so mm-hmm. easy to not have one moment with your thoughts. It is it's easy to not have an original thought all day because you're either watching other people's thoughts, you're listening to the news, you're running, you know, to all your appointments and you have to kind of force that time with yourself because it's so necessary, man. Um, yeah, it's so, it's so crucial and plants are such a great tool for doing that. Um, 
And it's sad that we need a tool, right? Like, I feel like our parents' generations, the generations older than us, they, they knew that time, you know, I talked to, I was on someone's podcast and they, this was the clip that they put like on their huge Instagram account, which was embarrassing, but kind of funny, but like, we can't go to the bathroom without our phones anymore. You know, like when we, our parents, our parents' generations, it's like, they had that time in the bathroom or in the shower or whatever. And now we're like listening to podcasts in the shower and we're scrolling Instagram. It's like, we have no time with ourselves anymore. And plants create that space and that time, you know? Yes, 110%. 110%. Do, 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 do,